Tormund has his raiding party encamped in a stone ravine south of the wall. Tormund chides Egret for failing to finish off Jon Snow. He has enough faith in her as an archer to believe that if Jon escaped, it was because she allowed him to. Suddenly, their scouts signal that someone is approaching. Steyr and a band of Thens approach them through the ravine. Out of earshot, Tormund comments about how much he hates Thens. Steyr says his party raided a village south of the ravine and gathered meat. He says the meat tastes so much better south of the wall, and chides Tormund for losing their wag as well as John. He reminds Tormund how the Night's Watch are feasting and getting fat at Castle Black. Steyr suggests that Tormund taste crow meat before he dies, as a human arm roasts over a fire. Tormund and Steyr led a raid on a village south of the wall. When one villager attempts to attack Tormund from behind, Egret shoots him before he can strike and Tormund finishes him off. Steyr sends Ollie to Castle Black as a message to the brothers of the Night's Watch. Tormund and Steyr attack the settlement of Mull's town. They slaughter all of the inhabitants, which include members of the Night's Watch who were visiting the local brothel. News of this attack reaches Castle Black, which is their next target. Tormund takes part in the rear assault on Castle Black, being the first one to infiltrate the fortress. He kills many Black Brothers and then engages Alyssa Thorne in single combat. They are evenly matched, but Tormund manages to seriously wound Sir Alyssa, who is then pulled to safety by his fellow Black Brothers. Tormund continues his rampage along the castle, despite receiving multiple wounds from arrows and swords. After all of the rear assault forces are slain, only Tormund remains and is incapacitated by a crossbow bolt from Jon Snow. He is then taken prisoner for interrogation. After Mance's forces on the other side of the wall are defeated by the surprise appearance of Stannis Baratheon, Jon comes to Tormund, who has had his wounds tended to by Maester Aemon. Jon informs Tormund that they will be burning the dead wildlings' bodies and asks if he wishes to say any words in their memory. Tormund scoffs at the idea, telling him that the dead can't hear them. Tormund then asks Jon if he loved Egret and explains that Egret had truly loved Jon, her constant talk of killing him being proof of that. Tormund solemnly requests that Jon take Egret's body north of the wall to burn it, since that's what she would have wanted. Jon complies with Tormund's wish and soon after has Egret's body burned on a funeral pyre beyond the wall.